Meet the Forbes. Hi Yo, guys. guys, welcome to our channel. Meet the Forbes. Yes, this is no longer everything Tara and this is our first video as Meet the Forbes and as you can see, Adrian is now a permanent fixture. Gang, gang, gang. So um, today we will be doing what? Uh, husband and wife tag. Yes. A lot of our followers on Instagram DM'd us asking for us to answer some questions. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to have a mad long intro because that's just mad jarring. So let's go through the questions. Let's do it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Sure. So the first question we have is... How did we meet? Yeah. I'll let you lead. No, I'll let you go. We'll no, you go. Ladies first. Okay. So let's just keep it real, 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 real short. So I met Adrian through his cousin Michaela um, and I was always at her house and they went obviously went to the same church, their family. Really wasn't good looking to me, his personality <laughs> was trash, uh... um, he was just this annoying little guy and it was hot outside and he had a puffer jacket on and Tim's like at this point and he had an afro and he looked like he was hot so at this point he was proper rude too and yeah it was just long and then um yeah that's how we met i met her through my cousin initially basically she called my cousin i picked up my cousin on the phone just being silly and i was like Rah, who is that cousin showed me who it was on the phone i was like okay okay i'm like get, get the link up happen let, let this link up happen let this let me little throw my thing on there you get me from my little source of that, you know what I mean? So, boom, obviously you've seen each other and um, she was digging the kids, so don't let her gas you up I with wasn't, this I promise you. Yeah, the the afro, second time I saw you, the, the second summer, time when you didn't have the afro, I'm telling you've you. You've had your go, you've had your go, it's calm. Um, listen, she was digging the kid, okay? That's why we're married now. No, it's the this second was, time I saw you, you had your chance. and you had the Pierre Cardin jumper on and your you hair was calm. You had your chance, calm. it's calm, it's calm. Um, but yeah, look, long story short, that's how we met. I met through um, my cousin who did the link up. You get me? And I was 14 and he was 15. And I actually didn't know that was a link up. I had no idea. So I learnt that, what, 16 years later? It wasn't meant to, but you know. Yeah, and it wasn't the first time that I liked him. It was the second time. The second time he had his hair cut. There was no afro. He had this beige Pierre Cardini jumper on black trousers, black loafers, and I was like, oh my gosh. So because we already, I didn't like him already from the first time, I slapped him in the back of his head because that was like my way of saying, I like you. But yeah, that's how we met. Even mad, but yeah. What advice would you both give to yourselves couple-wise? So for me, it would be not to take things so personal because I take things real personal. Like, Asia could be smiling, I'd be like, what's your problem? What's wrong with you? So yeah, that would be mine. I would definitely advise my younger self, anyone out there really, you've got to secure that bag a lot earlier, so it's a lot easier for both of you. Mm. Nice. Who gave us the name Meet the Forbes? Do you know what? Meet the Forbes is one of the names I had in my head, but I thought, mm, let me not use it. Tara wasn't feeling it. She what? was setting her ways about Agent okay. Taz. That's what it was going to be called, Agent Taz. That's our abbreviation. She calls me Agent, I call her Taz. We got a text message after the first video we could put out uh, from my little sister Pegs. And she was like, why don't meet the Forbes? And I looked at it and I thought, smiled. I thought, yeah, definitely meet the Forbes. Thanks, Peggy. Thank you. We love Shout you, out. girl. We love you. Um, the next question is, what's the best thing you like about each other? I'll let you go first. <laughs> what do you like about me? Uh, I love that you love me. Now, what do you like? Pathetic. Um, I like the fact that you can put up with me. Not many people can. That's right. That's, Adrian that's has correct. like mad patience. That's correct. Like his patience is like, woo! Because I am a whole bag. Like, I'm, I'm a lovely person. Trust me. I'm a lovely person. Can but I, I, I'm a lovely person. Because if I wasn't lovely, I wouldn't have the ring. So clearly I am a lovely person because he decided to put his knee on the floor and ask me if I want to marry him. Okay, so yes, that's what I love about you, your patience. Next question. Damn! What's the worst thing about each other? Ooh, I'll let you start. No, 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 you start, no, no. please. Ladies first, as I said. Sorry, that's what Adrian does all the time. 
<laughs> that's what Adrian does all the time. So um, that's the worst thing about him. Second, the other thing that's worst Ooh. about him. Sorry, if we're gonna Ooh. we're gonna be here. We might as well be real. Ooh. Is yeah, he is so petty. <laughs> he is a get back kid. If I do this, please believe because we're on camera, he hasn't done this. If I do one, he does two. He has to prove a point. So that's um. Oh oh yeah, and another one. Ooh, okay. He's stubborn. Adrian Thorpe. Is stubborn. Stubborn no, 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 we're both stubborn. Oh. But you're stubborn. That was one of you're stubborn. So talk. One of them. She is stubborn. I'm not. She's stub. She puts the stub in stubborn. Oh. She's Miss Stubborn. Um, since you had your opportunity to do multiple, I'm doing multiple. Go on then. I can do time to table. Speak and base in your chest. She's got the ability to either bring down the mood oh or allow the mood. God. To rise up. No! So right now she's all hyped. If she gets upset, it's like everyone else in the room has to be upset. Not everyone in the room, you everyone. have to be. <laughs> right now guys are on quarantine. If she's upset, I have to be upset. No. We're if, stuck no, in the yard. No, 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 no. If I'm upset. You had your chance. No, no, no. I have, no I have to, I have to, I have to stand up for myself. If I'm upset, <coughs> I stay in the bedroom. I don't come out. Adrian is in the front room. Ain't nobody asking you to lay down beside me when I'm upset. No, you're not asking Do your me thing. if I want to lie down. Well then, exactly. lay down. Just calm. No one wants to lie next to a slump. I said what I said! Adrian. Bruh, that's how you feel. Anything else you want to get off your chest, bro? No, yeah, that's cool. Great, perfect. So anyway. <laughs> looking back at your wedding day, what advice would you give? Woo! 100% I would advise myself and anyone out there that's getting married don't force it with the invites oh my gosh we had over 400 people because he wanted because he wanted it, it I it, actually listen. can I just say that <clears throat> I only wanted to invite 60 people six zero this one over here wanted to Invite Larry, Larry's dad and his uncle's pet fish. Who's Larry? I don't know. Anyone I mean, at this point, Adrian, the wedding was no jam packed. There was no need for it. Do we speak to these people? Listen. And that right. Just your close ones there. Like, even if they're family, they can be on Zoom. See, like, everyone doing the Zoom thing. I mean. Or one person represent the family and do it on a house party. I mean. Because literally. it's just a, it's a favours. It's just like you've got to buy them food. Seat them, decorate the yeah, table. Yeah, it's long. Favors, it's just it's so long, man. I mean, if you haven't spoken to them in the last six months, then I don't understand why they need to be at your wedding. That's that's how I feel. Who is the funniest? Me. Me. People laugh when I speak uh, all the time. In the comments, make sure you put who the funniest down in the comments, please. Yeah, please. Actually, that would be I great don't even because think I'm that funny. I mean, but I know she's not funny, so I hear that I'm funny. All the time. I mean, you. I definitely give you your accolades. Like you're mad funny. Like you are the funny guy. Um, Ooh, I'm a funny guy. I mean, um, but I'm gonna be real. I am quite funny. Like my friends laugh. At and you or... oh, raw. No, I'm just saying. Is that what you're saying? I don't know, friend. Friend, if you're watching this, <laughs> please put it in the comments. Wait, as I said, anyone who sees this, just let me know. Yeah. Who's funny in the comments, please? Thank you. Thank you. What are your occupations? I'm a gas engineer. Um, I am a sales negotiator at an estate agent, very reputable um, estate agent, and I'm trying to hand in my resignation so I can go full time with this. So guys, if you could just send this to all your people, then that means that I can be my own boss. And it's got nothing to do with the company. I just prefer to be my own boss. But yeah, I'm a sales negotiator, so I sell houses. Um, yeah, that's what I do. That's what he does. The next question is, how long have you been together? So, it's a bit of a long story that one, I'll let you handle that. So we got together when I was 14, he was 15. Um, we stayed together up until 19. Um, when I was 19, he was 20. He broke up with me because he said he didn't want to drag me to hell anymore. What that basically means is that he didn't want to do certain stuff anymore and he thought that was taking me to hell. Obviously, I thought there was a girl in the church, so I ran to the church because I was just like, what do you mean? Like, I don't understand. Saved. Went to the church, he Sacrifice. was saved. Yep, yep. And then I ended up getting saved and we broke up. So I was 19, he was 20, we broke up. Um, and then we got back together when I was 21. So um, all in all, let's say 16 years, including marriage, 
um, that's how long we've been together. We've been married for six years and seven years in May. And you can ask nice. the next question. How do you keep the fire burning? I like to uh, take Tara to places where she's never been before, restaurants, little outings that we can just get to know each other, spend a lot of time and um, enjoy ourselves. Buy me trainers. Oh yeah, she's a materialistic girl like that. I'm not materialistic. It's her love language. And I love, and I love <laughs> technology. So if he came home with a brand new iMac, I'd be extremely happy because I love tech and I love trainers and yeah. Um, how do I keep the fire burning? Um, Adrian told me recently that I'm not nice. So um, I'm learning to be nice. I can be quite tough, quite cutthroat. Um, so I'm learning to be Blunt. nice. Blunt. Mm. Yeah. But I'm learning to be nice because I love you. Knife. Oh, is that it? I love you. I love you. Well. Kiss. No so thank you so much guys for watching this video um we are gonna have more regular content coming out and stay tuned oh check out our tiktok yes it's called age taz right now but we're gonna change it to meet the forbes you have yep. to change it like after 30 days yeah um keep me posting our videos showing 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 your people them um like subscribe and share all that it, everything meet the forbes we're trying to be world. successful trust me do you get what i mean we're trying to eat we're trying to pay for bills and stuff but i'm gonna go there because it's too much anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in it was lovely um and we will see you in the next video peace